Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James, and I do fountain pen, ink, and paper reviews. And today, I have a new pen from Hong Dian, which I feel like I say fairly often because they put out new designs quite often, and they make a lot of great pens that are great value for the money. So the question is, does this new offering uphold those values? Well, first, it is an additional variation on the Black Forest theme, the Black Forest being a very popular Hong Dian fountain pen with good reason, solidly made, solid value, and a great smooth writer. Well, this is that pen blown up, but it's not exactly that pen blown up. They did not just put the design in the copier and hit enlarge. No, this has its own unique design while bringing some familiar Black Forest traits to the table. And it is an interesting design with some really cool details. So let's flip that camera and dive right into this pen. All right, let's look at the design of this Black Forest Max. First, uh, you will notice there's nothing that's just identical. It's just similar. The clip is similar, but it's not identical. It's a good, strong clip. It is a larger pen. This looks to the eye like it's rubberized, but that is a matte finish, and it even feels to the touch sometimes like it is some kind of a rubberized coating, but it's not. That's just the texture of this matte finish and those grooves, which, by the way, makes me think this would be a great design for an actual metal grip section because it provides really nice grip. It's just that it's back here on the barrel. Then smooth matte finish again at the end of the barrel. Coming to the cap, which is a screw-on cap, you have the OWL logo here. That was really hard for me to see with my 51-year-old eyeballs, but there is a logo there that is an OWL, and I think it looks quite cool once the glasses are on at the finial on the cap. You have around that, of course, you have Hong Dian Black Forest Max, and that's really cool. And you have the Dove of Peace. And I swear that that must be a fountain pen nib with a breather hole right there in the lower right. Am I just seeing things? Am I just, uh, what's going on there? I think that may be what that is. Now I said this is a twist cap. That is less than one turn. Some of you people are going to be twist happy there, and that's really nice. It reveals a number six nib, which we'll get to here in just a second, but first, a couple of other things. It does post really nicely and securely, no issues there, but it will be just a little bit maybe back heavy for some users. It's a nice big pen for people who like nice big pens. It has a plastic insert which you can kind of sort of see in there. So the threads here are plastic on some pretty smooth coated metal threads here. And then opening up the pen takes more twist, right? A lot more twist. And you find that there is, did you notice, there is an O-ring here, and you can feel that especially when you are uh, opening and closing the barrel. Good threads and, of course, a converter with a spring in there for some of you to immediately remove, right? And as usual, that is the Chinese 3.4 millimeter standard, okay? So that way you know it doesn't take international cartridges or anything like that, but it does take uh, 3.4 millimeter cartridges. Now let's take a look at that nib, which has a really nice design stamped in. You're starting to see this on some other Hongdian pens as well. I believe it's the N8, which is a really pretty white pen that has that uh, Peace Dove theme. Really, really pretty pen. I haven't seen it in person, but the pictures look really good. It says fine over here to the side and then 35. I'm actually not sure what the 35 is for. Maybe somebody else knows. Uh, but a really nice looking, as looks go, nib with, you notice the breather hole, a different shape from what they've used in the past. Hongdian usually does a really good job with their nibs, so I'm looking forward to inking this pen up. Of course, you have the typical plastic feed. So how about we do a quick size comparison and then get this pen to work? All right, now we have the Hongdian Black Forest Max right here in the center, and then the Hongdian, not the Black Forest technically, but the Light of Hope in blue, same pen as the Black Forest original, just in a different finish. Uh, to give you a comparison to that original size, and then Alami All-Star. Then you have the Jinhao 51A and the Pilot Metropolitan. 
And then we have the pins uncapped and unposted. And I think here you really see the difference between how slender that original Black Forest series of pins is and the new Black Forest Max. And there you have the pins posted and turn sideways because you got some long pins with these uh, all with the All Star and the Black Forest. All right, let's see how this pen writes. I'm not going to post today. I think this one gets a little bit back weighted, but I am really curious. This is a first impression of this pen for me. Really curious. I will say, feels really good in the hand. I really like the size, weight, dimensions of this pen. This is a fine, and this is Pelican Blue. Nice nib. Now to my eye, good wetness, and to my finger, yep, nice. Not, I didn't mean to give you the finger, I was just showing you the ink, I, I don't, don't. I'm a preacher. I'm not going to do that. Come on now. I got nothing. <laughs> you know, my brain is uh, not at full speed today, I got to tell you. Too many things on my mind. All right, really nice writer. I'm enjoying this pen. Feels good in hand, Un unposted. The balance is just really nice, and that length is good, as you can see. And uh, nice, nice, nice. All right, it just writes nice and smooth. So what do I think about this pen? I think there are going to be a lot of happy pen owners buying this pen. You know, the Black Forest, the original one, was really just a, a smash hit. And yet, to be honest, I think I like almost everything about this pen just a little bit better. Max sometimes doesn't mean that. Sometimes they, they blow it and they, they change the design and, and kind of ruin it, they just being manufacturers in general. And they didn't do that with this pen. I, I, I like this pen. I think for for what I like in a pen and how a pen should feel, I, I think this is improvement. And I don't even know that they meant for it to be improvement. I think they meant for it to be another choice. But I think, I think this is a pretty neat pen. It is, as you can hear that, there's, there's some heft to this pen. So if you like heavier pens, this is the one for you. If you want a lighter pen, then I would go back to that original Black Forest. But I'll tell you, I like this. I love the attention to detail. It writes nicely. I mean, it really did. It's hard to convey sometimes how smoothly a pen is writing and how good the feel is. But uh, here, more really did mean more, and they didn't go crazy and mess the pen up. They didn't ruin the formula. They just tweaked it in a way that is quite good. All right. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope it gave you the information that you needed. If you got questions, ask them in the comments below. And as always, like, share, subscribe, and God bless you. Have a great week.